Hi there. Now this is quite a long question, although the answers are short, on the trapezium rule and numerical integration. So what we'll do is we'll just go through each part separately, or you might want to fast forward to any of the answers to the th three sections here. But for the first part, anyway, we're given that y equals 5 all divided by 3x squared minus 2. And we're asked to complete the table giving the values of y to two decimal places for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this part and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So all we need to do is to substitute x equals 2.5 and 2.75 into our equation here to get what the corresponding y values are. So when you substitute 2.5 in to two decimal places, you get the answer 0 0.30. And for 2.75, you get 0 0.24. Now in part B, it says use the trapezium rule with all the values of y from your table to find an approximate value for this integral. The integral then of 5 over 3x squared minus 2 between the limits 2 and 3 integrated with respect to x. And it's worth 4 marks. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Now I'm assuming that you're familiar with the trapezium rule. If not, just a very quick reminder. Otherwise, just check out my video tutorials on this on my website. Essentially, if we're to work out an integral between the limits x equals a and x equals b, then it represents the area under the curve. And we can get an approximate area to this by drawing trapeziums across our curve, like so. Okay, And it turns out that that approximate area under the curve, which is the area of all the trapeziums added together, is the width of a strip, illustrated here in green, divided by 2. And then it's the first height, the first y value, plus twice the sum of all the middle heights that you see here in dotted lines, and then plus the last height up here. OK? So using that idea, we can say that this integral, we'll just copy it down, the integral between the limits 2 and 3 of 5 divided by 3x squared minus 2 integrated all with respect to x. Well, this is going to be approximately then the width of a strip. OK, and we can easily see what the width of a strip is from the table because the x values go up in steps of 0 0.25. So the width of a strip is going to be 0 0.25. And then we divide that by 2. And then to this, we multiply this with the first height, the first y value, which will be 0.5. And then we do plus 2 times the sum of all the middle heights, the middle y values. Well, that's going to be 0.38 plus 0.30 plus 0.24. And then to this, we add the last height, 0.2. OK, doesn't matter, obviously, if you do the first height plus the last height and then plus twice the sum of the middle heights, OK? Because I know some students learn it that way. OK, so if you just put this through your calculator, what you should find you get is that this comes out at 0 0.3175. And because we're giving answers here to two decimal places, then this to two decimal places is going to equal 0.32 to 2 dp. OK? Two decimal places. So I hope you've been able to get that and understand the trapezium rule. If not, as I say, just check out videos on my website on that. OK, well, 
We now have the next part which shows us this sketch. The sketch shows part of the curve then with the equation y equals 5 all divided by 3x squared minus 2 for values of x greater than 1. Now at the points a and b on the curve x equals 2 and x equals 3 respectively. The region s is bounded by the curve, the straight line through b and 2, 0, and the line through A, parallel to the y-axis. And for part C then, we've got to use your answer to part B to find an approximate value for the area of S for three marks. So again, you might like to pause the video and have a go at this. So I'll just give you a moment to do that. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, to get the area S, we know that to get the area under the curve, bounded between these two vertical lines, between x equals 2 and x equals 3, well, that's given by this integral. And so it came to 0.3175. To get S, all we need to do is take away the area of the triangle. And the area of the triangle will just be to use the formula of the base times the height divided by 2. And the base clearly is one unit from 2 to 3. And as for the height, well, that's the y value when x equals 3. And we can see that it was 0.2. So we've got the dimensions of our triangle here. So when it comes to working out then the area of S, let's just squeeze it in here. Okay, the area of S, well, it's going to be as I say, the total area under the curve, which is 0.3175. And from this, we subtract the area of the triangle, which will be the base, which is 1, multiplied by the height, which is 0.2. And this is all divided by 2. And if you work this out, you end up with 0.2175. And I'm just going to write in unit squared because it's an area. Okay?